Revelation 17 verse 5 The Mark of Love for Sale Revelation 17 verse 5 And on her forehead a name was written, a mystery, Babylon the Great, the mother of prostitutes and of the abominations of the earth. God is the creator of all life on earth. He is supposed to be our first love, but the Lord allows free will, and he lets you and I worship whoever or however we choose. On the day of judgment, the Lord God will make it known to the entire world and all creation. He made everything. He deserves all honor and praise. The word prostitute appears in the Bible 79 times. Harlot has the same meaning and appears in older translations of scripture 48 times. A prostitute is a female or male who will give sexual pleasure for money. They completely surrender their body. The word of God is totally against it, but it is the world's oldest profession. The empire of Babylon trying to build the Tower of Babel, but God saw they were testing his authority and so he confused their languages. Therefore, Babylon the noun was now a verb, the language of Babel, meaning they could not understand each other. Genesis 11 verse 7 come, let us go down and there confuse their language so that they will not understand one another's speech. 8 So the Lord scattered them abroad from there over the face of all the earth, and they stopped building the city. 9 Therefore it was named Babel, because there the Lord confused the language of all the earth, and from there the Lord scattered them abroad over the face of all the earth. British rock group The Police recorded a song called Roxanne, and it is about a man who falls in love with a prostitute. As the relationship starts, the man tells the new love of his life, Roxanne, your prostitute days are over, I will take care of you, you don't have to sell your body to the night. Turn off your red light, put away your sexy red revealing dress, and please be true to me forevermore. A prostitute must make herself or himself look very appealing to others, turn heads, give lust and desire in the eyes of those looking for a good time. That is what the Church of Babylon is. It sugarcoats God's word. It exchanges the Holy Bible commandments for traditions. It merges pagan practices with scripture, and people who want Jesus, but still want tradition, will dance with the devil, but they still want the benefits of heaven. That is the relationship the Lord does not accept, nor will he tolerate. Many Christian churches and others say they believe in God, preach, teach, believe, and live by Babylonian lies. The sad truth of the matter is they will defend the Babylonian lies, tooth and nail, into their grave. Another said reality, scripture, will support none of the Babylonian pagan lies. Sugarcoated lies usually happen when people learn Christianity and want to blend it with whatever practice and tradition they kept for years. The Christmas holiday, December 25th as Christ's birthday and the first day of the week as the Sabbath worship comes from worshiping the sun god. Believing human beings have an immortal soul, which comes from ancient Egyptian religion, is false. But God's word says the dead sleep in their graves until judgment day. Only the Lord is immortal, and only those who love and obey him will be rewarded with everlasting life. Numerous churches and Christians believe these Babylonian lies, and they prostitute themselves to meaningless teaching that will lead them to their destruction. Dear brothers and sisters, study God's word more and do not exchange sugarcoated lies against his truth for the lies of the Babylonian prostitute Antichrist Church. God bless you all. Your first love Jesus adores you and so do I. Is bondservant Samuel H. Ezekiel 16:34. So it is the opposite for you from those women in your obscene practices, in that you are not approached for prostitution, and in the fact that you pay a prostitute's fee, and no fee is paid to you, so you are the opposite. 35 Therefore, you prostitute, hear the word of the Lord. 36 This is what the Lord God says, because your lewdness was poured out and your nakedness uncovered through your obscene practices with your lovers and with all your detestable idols, and because of the blood of your sons that you gave to idols. 37 Therefore, behold, I am going to gather all your lovers whom you pleased, all those whom you loved as well as all those whom you hated. So I will gather them against you from every direction and expose your nakedness to them so that they may see all your nakedness. 38 So I will judge you as women who commit adultery or shed blood are judged, and I will bring on you the blood of wrath and jealousy.